deal with your troubled friends with the wave of my hand this very hand. Please observe me if you will. I'm Professor Harold Hill, and I'm here to organize a River City Boys Band. And what was really neat for me as a director is to see that once students got into their costumes from a period of 1912, which is not like the kinds of clothes we wear nowadays, big hats with big feathers and suits with, you know, pocket watches, and um, that it really, it transforms the acting too, that the actors all of a sudden feel like they're from another era and they're, how they carry themselves and how they interact with one another is different and, and all of a sudden it, it felt like we arrived in River City, Iowa, 1912, which was really, really neat. Even should that happen to be true, does that give you the right to follow me around wherever I go? Another thing, Mr. Hill, I'm not as easily mesmerized or hoodwinked as some people in this town, and I think it only fair to warn you I have a shelf full of reference books in there which may very well give me some interesting information about you. My character's name is Marion Peru, and she's a librarian in River City, and she's, a, she's pretty progressive as compared to the people in her town, and she's in a way just as stubborn as they are, but in a way where she is more aware of the world around her and more aware of like the greater things that she wants in life and I've tried to give her a lot of strength because I think that this is a show that was written for um, 1912, it was, the movie came out in the 50s and I think it's easy to get the female characters lost or to have them look foolish or like damsels in distress but I try and give her strength because I think that her character deserves it. And through my experience in musical theater, music men has come up all the time. So having this show um, be our all school musical, I, I knew I wanted to be Harold Hill from the start. Every musical is a story, right? Every play, musical, opera, um, it's a story, you know, as, but as opposed to seeing it read on, on a book, um, it's right in front of you. It's, it's live action. And I think the most important thing to, to grab from that is that no matter what you see, the lines, the acting, um, stuff can get messed up, but what you can't miss is the story because there's a plot, there's a theme, and there's something that they hope you take out of it in the end. And that's what you really need to pay attention to. Yeah.